Hey Virgo, welcome back. Time to do your weekend reading for February 9th uh, through the 11th. Okay, so let's take a look. I'm going to use my Chinese Oracle cards to see what's showing up each day for you, what you need to know. Uh, if you are new, welcome. Please do smash that subscribe button and like the video if you enjoy my readings. If you are a returning subscriber, hello everyone. Um, you can get a personal reading with me. There's a link in the description box below. And also, um, if you want to become a member of my channel, it's only $2.99 per month. You can sign up for the loyalty membership. All the cool people are doing it. So jump on in, become a part of the Virgo gang gang. All right, you guys. So let's see starting on friday what are the messages starting with jealousy watch who you trust with your personal secrets on friday and plans spend time outdoors with nature to reconnect and replenish all right let's take a look and see what's happening here friday watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans all right what's going on virgo oh yeah okay you got to be really careful you've got the nine of wands so there's definitely something happening on friday which hmm you may not be you might you may have been burned before um, and now you're hesitating. Okay. Um, I do feel like there may be someone in your circle somewhere, whether they're in your inner circle, outer circle. I feel like there's someone here who is showing like they're damaged and they have like this jealous streak about them and they... I feel like this kind of feels like they're watching you. Like they're looking like side eye. Someone's giving you the side eye on Friday. <laughs> the jealousy. Oh my goodness. Um, maybe they're watching you. Being, doing something over the weekend where you're outdoors. Or there, you might be spending some time with some people outdoors this weekend and you're being, there's someone here who's like super, super jealous of you. Oh yeah, this person ugh, is an attention seeker. I feel like there's competition. There's some kind of competition. You got to be careful with this person. Now we're getting some fire. So, uh with the wand energy so it could be a Sagittarius Aries or a Leo they're jealous of your success or um, the things that come to you right they want what you have they want your success they want the awards they want the recognition they want the attention that you get Okay, this person, they've been, they're like a try hard. I feel like they, this person has been trying and they're getting beat up in the process where they're jealous of how easily these things come to you. You might be one of those people that just has like all the good comes to you easily. Now, this could be a friend. This could be a partner. God forbid. I hope that's not a partner um, or even a friend. It could be a sibling or someone that you work with. Okay, or just whomever could just be someone. Uh, okay, if you have like, I'm just hearing like jealous of the people who sell not jealous of the people who celebrate you jealous. They want that the, uh, the celebrate the people that lift you up or the people that you know, maybe they think that you're on your high horse, but it's not in a negative way. I don't know that you might not put yourself there. Others may have been uplifting you. Somebody here is not. You got to be careful. 
and it does feel like perhaps it's a fire sign uh, you might need to like just kind of pull yourself away and get out of the limelight a little bit not because of them um but just to kind of get yourself grounded or one with nature i'm just hearing i don't know what that means um just to reconnect and replenish yeah i don't know virgo i just kind of feel like this it feels like a fire sign is just yeah <laughs> they're struggling this person this fire sign could be an earth sign they are they're they're struggling they have a poverty mindset they're not doing so good and they're jealous of your success, your achievements, your gifts, the things that people that maybe you have like a support, these people around you who look at all this. Uh, that's like a winner, 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 chicken dinner. They're jealous of all that. Okay. Yeah. So you got to watch out for that on Friday. Friday seems to be, um, Like, I don't feel like you should change who you are. <laughs> don't do any of that. That's not your problem. Don't lower yourself to meet, to make someone feel better about themselves. Don't do that. It just feels like um, this person's suffering. I mean, if anything, kindness is always the best way to go, I think. Um, but it's really not your problem. I just feel like you need to protect yourself as far as... If you know who this is and this resonates, whoever this person is that... They, they might, they might use anything personal, like your plans that you tell them or your hopes and dreams or your personal stuff, your secrets, anything you tell them, they might be looking because they're looking to find a flaw in you to make themselves feel better. Like, don't give anybody your secrets. Don't tell anybody what you're doing. Okay. Um, just be mindful. And, and the nine of wands is having your boundaries up. So do keep your boundaries up around uh, certain people because you never know. You know what I mean? People can definitely come off as being genuine and wholehearted. And it's unfortunate, but you never know what's lurking behind in someone's mind. So just protect yourself, I feel, because there's definitely someone here who's they're not happy for you. Let me tell you that. They're not one of your fans. They don't want to be one of your fans. They want to be you. And we had this reading the other day. Remember at the beginning of the week, we had someone who was like mirroring you, mimicking you. Uh, this person might be like, hello, they're back. Hello, it could be somebody you work with or that you make money with something along those lines. So just be wary of that. This is going to be a short reading because... I feel like these messages, <laughs> oh yeah, and I just, okay, they just said, this person jealous of your, your, your fortune, like you're very fortunate, they see you as someone who's very fortunate, and they're not, and they're busted up, they're busted up, bruised, physically injured, whatever, trying to be, and gain all of the luck that you have okay they call it luck maybe you just say well you're just blessed right but they they think that you have all the winnings that you have everything that wheel of fortune yeah they want that they don't have that they want that they want to be you oh yee creep vibes right there creepy let's move on now you've got travel Okay, this week. So Saturday, long distance, ew, long distance communication will open up your life. Exciting experiences for singles and career advancement for others. Okay, wow. So yesterday's reading was definitely for the singles where you did have, um, a connection that you could be meeting this could be happening over the weekend you also had like a proposal romantic offer so if you're traveling or you have some type of long distance communication with someone over the weekend it's going to um get, like open things up for you exciting experience especially if you're single and possibly career advancement for others let's take a look 
So travel is on the travel is on the horizon on Saturday. Ooh. Okay. All right, we've got Sagittarius energy there. There's definitely some type of block. <clears throat> physical block so this could be uh you might be communicating some with someone long distance over this weekend okay um and and connecting with them in a very loving energy this feels like a connection with someone that was divinely guided divinely divinely designed for you to connect okay so in other words what i'm trying to say is because when i look at the seven of wands i feel like there's no physical connection here okay there's a pushing back on that which tells me this might be a telecommunication thing happening here that you connect with someone on saturday now this could bring you um a career advancement as well so you could be talking to someone online over this weekend where there could be a remote type of uh, job offer or a travel type of job offer but there's also love as well okay so if you're single there's a love connection being made here on saturday okay let me see and it's, it starts what I feel like it's going to be more of um, a long distance communication that you're going to start connecting with someone on Saturday. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is like beautiful. Saturday's energy is beautiful. Um, so much joy, happiness and contentment. So I feel like you're connecting with like a soulmate over this weekend. And this person was brought to you by way of oh like an angel you know because somebody's name could be angel but i feel like you're, you're going to be meeting someone but not physically that's what i'm trying to say and this is this is a connection or you're going to be connecting with someone either meeting them or connecting with it you're making a love connection on saturday they may live at a distance to you, but it, this is meant to be. And I feel like this is going to bring such happiness. Is this the person that you're going to, we go from the two of cups to the ten of cups, that you're going to wind up with happily ever after? Absolutely, it could be. For some of you, it's a Sag, Sagittarius, okay? Um, either way, career advancement, uh, exciting experience on Saturday, Long distance communication, opening things up for you, no matter what the, the situation, Saturday looks amazing, okay? Saturday's amazing. It's a far cry from Friday. Friday is like, hold up, hold the phone. We don't need this person back, okay? Saturday looks amazing. <clears throat> now let's take a look. You also have on Sunday, let's get these out of the way. You have friendship. A friend needs your help. Your kindness and excellent counseling skills will put them back on track. Holy. So is it that person? That jealous person? Okay, you've got the King of Cups. Hmm. Okay. King of Cups always showing up in the... Re you guys remember in the beginning it used to be... Um, the Emperor was always showing up in the readings. In the very beginning when I was doing this channel. And then what did we move to? It felt like the King of Swords was taking press. Now it feels like the King of Cups is showing up a lot. So there's a King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Who is a friend to you? Masculine or feminine? They have a big decision to make. Uh, they're confused about something. And they need your advice. They need your help. They need to talk to you. So Sunday, it feels like this person wants to talk to you. Oh, could be about another earth sign or could be about you they're having a lot of stress and anxiety um oh okay uh, it's either so a small percentage of you that this is about you okay um 
they're having a lot of stress and anxiety. Um, they're feeling very defeated. Uh, and, you know, Virgo's the one to talk to about stuff because Virgo's always giving some prime advice. Do you know what I mean? Um, you have a really good ability to listen and sort things out for people. Um, you, maybe you are a counselor. You might have someone reaching out to you if you work in um, mental health on Sunday. Um, but this feels like it's a friend and they really need your help. They need your sincerity and your kindness. So Sunday really feels to me like um, you're going to get a reach out either from an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, where they're just having a really difficult time, perhaps in a relationship with someone in regards to maybe there's some abuse or conflict or something along those lines or someone's just being really nasty. Um, they don't know what to do. Uh, they think they know, but they want to maybe confer with you a bit to get some advice. But also for some of you, this could be a friend. And like I said, it's a small percentage of you. There might be uh, some communication between you and another person that you could have a friendship with, um, that this person wants to talk to you about how they're feeling about the friendship, okay? And they might be needing some reassurance about your connection. I just wanna get one more card, okay? Yeah, justice, a Libra energy there. Um, try to make things right okay it could be something turning to romance or romance romance wow okay so <laughs> for some of you now I know this might sound strange but some of you might have a friendship that could turn into a lover's situation and this person is stressed they want to talk to you about it um and it's kind of like this person loves you, okay? It could be an earth sign, it could be a water sign. This person is in love with you. They could be talking about a marriage proposal, friendship, like from friends to lovers is what I feel, Sunday. So expect some type of um, getting back on track on Sunday is how I feel, okay? Sunday is all about getting, so, so let me just summarize, okay? Friday, watch your P's and Q's. You've got somebody around you who is not, they don't have good intentions on Friday, okay? They do not. They're very jealous and they do not wish you well. So be careful, okay, who you share secrets with. Make sure you trust. You fully trust. You might be surprised to find this out. You might find out on Friday. Saturday looks great because Saturday looks like you have a connection maybe with family, friends, or a romance blooming. Um some travel work offers good experiences especially if you're single or if you're not single then there's something brewing on saturday where there's like this full-on like go in the distance in some type of a love relationship it's lovely sunday looks like you're needed sunday looks like you're you're going to be called on to help someone out with something for on a mental standpoint whether it's regarding them and another person or regarding you and your relationship with them to get back on track. Okay, so there's something occurring. Now keep in mind that this energy is fluid. So even though I've given you Friday, Saturday and Sunday, this could just kind of shape shift and it could happen, you know, Sunday's energy could happen on Friday. So just keep in mind, nothing is ever written in stone. Okay, nothing. <laughs> So just keep that in mind. I want to get some charms and some initials for you guys. I'm not going to pull any Chinese signs because it was just too confusing because we had three separate days. Someone's 51. Someone's born on September 3rd. Someone is 58. We have the initial A. The initial E. Someone is 63 or born in 63 or 58 or 51. Okay, someone is 68 or born in 68. Someone is 32. Letter T, the letter O. All right, initial K. Someone has a young child. Someone's on TikTok. 
the letter Q. Initial, so initial A, E, T, O, K, and Q. Names could be Catherine, Keith. Q could be anything. I'm not picking up anything strictly with Q. Um, Etna, I just heard, like the name, or Ethel. Etna, maybe that's your insurance company. <laughs> um, Amy, they just said Amy. Uh, August 23rd, someone's born in 79. Okay, let's see. I want to ask your rising sign, Virgo. Okay, you could have a Scorpio rising, a Leo rising, or Pisces rising. And a couple more rising signs. Scorpio rising, Scorpio rising, Aries rising. All right, and one more... One more spill, Aquarius rising, Cancer rising, Taurus rising, okay? So if I called your rising sign, that's more specifically for you, but it doesn't mean it's not your reading if I didn't. All right, what else do you have? Okay, we have the letter A again. Someone was born in June. We also have the 31st and September 14th. Okay, September 8th, someone's 47. Uh, 1980, uh, some, okay, first they said 1986, and then they said 1981, right? It flipped. And someone's born in 74, and then we have the letter E. Okay, and someone is born in February. So February birthday showing up here. And L N. N is a Nancy. The name Lynn. Someone's name is Lynn or has Lynn in their name. Uh, Holm. H-O-L-M. Holm. I just heard Holm. Um, okay. Let's get a charm and then we're going to leave your re weekend reading. Very interesting energy for the weekend. What the hell's that? Oh. Okay, Merry Christmas, y'all. So we got Christmas candy canes. Okay, something to do with candy canes or peppermint. Significant to someone, candy canes or peppermint. Okay, we got a couple of other things going on here. Hold on. I have a, I have a very strange thing happening here. What the, what in the heck? Oh my gosh, what's with all the Christmas stuff? Now you have a reindeer. What's what's going on with the Chris? Is Chris something happened at the holidays? Did something happen at Christmas that's significant for someone? Did I say September third? Something with candy canes and reindeer. I, you know what? <laughs> something happened at the holidays, or Christmas is significant for someone, or the holiday season. The other charm you have is a guitar, an electric guitar, okay? So uh, that's significant for someone, does something with electric guitars. Maybe you were like doing Christmas carols in a band or something, if you celebrate the holiday. You also have a Dalmatian, okay? Spotted, obviously. Leopard never changes its spots. Something there for you to recognize or to know. Um, so there is a connection to the holidays there is a connection to someone now maybe you have a dalmatian you might but there's also a connection to someone that's not going to change uh, their ways their behavior and that might be something that you need to recognize and accept and then something to do with a guitar or a rock band or music okay so i'm going to leave that there for the weekend i know it was short meant to be we don't want to get dive too deep i hope you guys have a great weekend do leave me comments of any of this energy occurs for you or if it resonates in some way you know exactly what this is or if the charms mean anything to you definitely let me know leave a comment below and um 
I will come back on Sunday to welcome all of the new members who have joined my channel. If you have recently joined today as you're listening to this or going forward over this weekend, thank you so much. I will definitely be giving you a shout out Sunday evening. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you joining. Thank you for all the coffees that all everybody's bought me. Thank you to the mods for being here. I'm super, super grateful. And if you haven't booked your reading with me, you can go ahead and do that now. The, the, the booking site is up and functioning beautifully. All right, you guys. So have a fantastic weekend. Enjoy yourselves. Love you very much. And I will see you all back here on Sunday. Take care.